Hello class, it's Professor Streeter. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the D2L shell for our course. So we're going to be navigating, navigating our way around D2L. I'll try to cover all the different components and all the bases. If you have any questions after watching this video, feel free to email me, post something in the chat, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, the discussion chat, or bring it up in class. Okay, let me uh, put myself here in the corner of the screen so we can look at our homepage for the class. Here it is. As you can see, the first thing that you can do to begin navigating our course is read uh, the announcements. I've got a video here welcoming you to ethics and telling you a little bit about how to do what I'm explaining in this video. Uh, then there are some other announcements here about the nature of this course. It is a sustainability inclusive course, so you can read about what that means. We can talk about that together. I've included a land acknowledgement for us to consider. This is something, uh, again, we can, we can talk about together. And down here we've got the week one reading assignment and the week one writing assignment. So the point here is that the announcements contain a lot of information. I will update them regularly. And the first thing to do when you're going on on this site is to look at the announcements. Okay, second thing, uh, you can click the content menu here at the top. Um, and that'll take you away from the home page to the weekly content page. You can start by looking at the overview. I've got a cartoon here beginning with uh, some humor and describing a little bit about our course. If you scroll down, I've got again the Welcome to Ethics video and our syllabus, which you'll get a hard copy in class, but here's, um, here's a digital version that you can find here on the overview. If you come down here, course schedule, this is a handy way of looking at the uh, everything that's due, the, the dates that it's due or the dates that it's available. Um, it's all right here under the full schedule. This tells you upcoming events. Come down here, we got the table of contents. And here, um, we, the first module here is uh, course information. Uh, if you click here, you'll learn a little bit about me, see, an, uh, see a picture of me, and learn a little bit about my biography. Um, and then you come down here, you got the syllabus, another place where you can find the syllabus. It's all over the place. Please familiarize yourself with the syllabus in the first week of the semester. Here's the course calendar, which is included in your syllabus. But this is the, uh, goes week by week, the topic and the reading and major assignments due for that week. This is a very handy thing to look at online. You'll also have a paper copy and keep track of the schedule of readings and make sure you're keeping up with that. Okay, going back to course information, we have uh, a little video I made about our two books that we've ordered, but also if you click here, you get the bibliographic information and um, a little information about how to purchase your books from the Barnes & Noble bookstore, what you can do if you're um, if you're unable to purchase or rent the books, you can apply for a scholarship through the Prairie State College Foundation. It's very straightforward. I encourage you to do that. And they have funds uh, for you to use to purchase books. Okay, so there's that. This, is, this information is also on the syllabus. And then a little video of me talking about the two books that we're reading together this semester. Uh, here is uh, a link to a page about how to navigate the course. Okay, but we're doing that right now. And here's a link to office hours. Okay, let me start with this point. You can contact me anytime via email to set up a meeting with me. And I encourage you to do that early in the semester and throughout the semester. We can meet in on campus, uh, at my office on campus. We can meet virtually on Google Meet. My, my, okay, so if you click here though, this takes you to Calendly, which is the online scheduling for, for my office hours. So let's say um, we're going ahead here to, uh, let's say you wanna meet with me uh, this week, okay? And so you can see on Wednesday, I have hours from 11 to one. On Tuesdays, I have hours from two to three, and on Mondays, I have hours from 10 to 12. If those hours don't work for you, you can email me and we can find another time that works. Okay, so that's the, um, 
that's the uh, the office hours. Okay, let me come back here. Whoops. All right. So um, okay, so that's course information <clears throat> and how to sign up for office hours with me. Um, just scrolling back to okay. So in here we also have the first discussion topic in the discussion forum. Um, before we go there, there is some information here about academic honesty, a statement for students, and a link to the library research guide on plagiarism and how to cite your sources properly. These are both, um, I would like you to look at these on your own and read these on your own. If you have questions about plagiarism or how to cite sources throughout at any time in the semester, come and talk to me. Um, and if you have questions about what it means to be academically honest, um, bring that up in class. This is a, a, an ethics class, so you can bring that up in class, or you can talk to me privately about that. Okay, so coming back here, if you notice on the, on the course information um, module, we have one of our discussion topics, the class cafe, where you can post general questions about the course uh, and respond to questions that other students pose. These are questions that you could also just email me to me directly, but I encourage you to use the Class Cafe for general questions about the course. You can also find the Class Cafe up here in Discussions. So let's move here from content to discussions. Um, there are three, there are two forums, right? The first one is what I just described, the Class Cafe, and you can get to it directly through the discussion menu, and you just click Class Cafe. And then you click, to, if you want to post a question, you would click start a new thread. I have a question about the syllabus, something in the subject line to give me a sense of what you're talking about. Um, how many um, essays do we have to write this semester? Okay. Um, that's something you can find out in the syllabus, uh, but uh, if for some reason you missed it, you could post that question here. And then I can read your question, other students can read your question and respond to it. Feel free to respond. I don't have to be the only one responding to your questions. Um, and if you want to respond, you click it and reply. There are two essays for this course. Okay, uh, so there's the, your, the first answer to a, a real question, right? There are two essays that you'll be writing this semester, in case you were wondering. And then you post it, and there it is for everyone to view. Okay, um, so that's the class cafe. It's just general questions. You're, you don't get credit for posting in there. That's just a way of communicating with me. There is a weekly feedback, and this is part of your classroom grade, your classroom activities. Part of it is posting weekly in the online forum that's called weekly feedback. So aim to post something um, by the end of the day, Monday or Tuesday, before uh, we meet you know, for our, our class. Um, that way I can think about it, other students can think about it, we can respond to it together before class. Um, and so there will be Sometimes I'll have specific prompts. Sometimes I'll just ask you to, you know, post a, a comment about the reading. The first one is an introduction. So you'll be asked to introduce yourself. Uh, I've given some parameters for how to do that. Um, but then um, coming back here, the week two online discussion, that will be for the second week of the semester. I just ask you to post a comment about the reading from week one or two. Sometimes I will give you more of a prompt in the uh, weekly feedback or the online discussion, but sometimes I'll just, I just, oh, it's an open question. You know, what, what questions, what comments do you have about the readings and our discussion, our topics for the week? Okay, this is my way of keeping track of what you're thinking. Uh, it's also a way for you to interact with other students online and continue the conversation outside the classroom. Okay. Uh, let me come back to content. So if you go down from course information, you get the weekly content module. And this is probably, I think, the most important piece here. So each week, look at the announcements and then go directly. I would encourage you just to go directly to weekly content. And starting with week one, 
Okay, so um, I will make a separate video about the week one assignments, but here you see we've got the overview of, for the week. Sometimes I'll include a video there in, in the weekly module. Um, and then this week it's about course preparation. So I've given you a list of things to do for this week and a list of reading assignments. Okay, so but each weekly module has all of the information you need for what we're reading, what we're doing that week, and also also contains other other content. So for example, we have a, a slideshow and some videos um, that, I'll, that I'll be sharing with you in the first week. Okay. And so, and then here you can also see links to the class cafe and links to the class introduction, something I want you to do for the first week. Uh, and we've, we've got some online reading and resources. So if you're having trouble getting your books in the beginning of the semester, I have some of the readings here as PDF files. Um, I have a link to a movie about hedonism or the experience machine, which is something we'll talk about in the first week of the semester, um, and an article from the New York Times that we'll try to look at in class. So extra resources, online readings, I, I, I include in, in the weekly modules. Okay, but so you can access the discussions directly from here. Um, okay, as you can see, there is going to be a quiz the first week. And so let me go and show you how to find quizzes. Again, you can access them from the weekly content module. Uh, but also, if you, if you notice at the top here, we have the quiz menu. And there will be, I think, approximately seven quizzes over the course of the semester. The first one is due in the first week. And it's just going to be five questions based on the introduction to Schaefer Landau's The Fundamentals of Ethics. So I, it, it's not ready to take yet. It's not open here. But this is what it will look like when you click quiz. It'll tell you what the quiz is, five questions, multiple choice. You have two chances to take the quiz. The highest score counts toward the quiz grade category. OK, so before you take the quiz, make sure to read those 19 pages of the introduction to the fundamentals of ethics. Uh, the questions are pretty straightforward. It's obviously open book. It's timed, but you have plenty of time. In this case, you have 30 minutes to answer five questions. Typically, the quizzes will I think you'll have more like an hour to answer 10 questions, okay? You get two chances. The, the purpose of these quizzes is to make sure you're reading carefully, you're noticing moves that the author is making in their argument and um, important concepts and ideas that are emerging in, in the weekly readings, okay? So it's a read, the, the quizzes are reading comprehension. They're testing your, your comprehension of what you're reading. Okay, the first one is due in the, in the first week of the semester. Okay, um, and then finally, there's no homework due the first week, but if you go to the assignments uh, menu here at the top, you can see that um, all of the homework assignment folders are here for you. There's six homework assignments over the course of the semester. Uh, we'll be writing two essays, but I will ask you to submit a, a rough draft and a revision of each, and you'll get full credit for both drafts. That's part of your essay grade. And then there are two final exams, or two exams, the midterm and the final. And those are those folders are here in the assignments. So you'll be turning all of these assignments in to these folders. Okay. You can also turn them in in class, but uh, this is an option. So if you click the folder, homework one, we're running almost running out of time here. Um, this describes the first assignment. I may revise it, uh, so this, this is not necessarily what you're going to be doing. But um, what you would do is you would read the assignment, okay, the instructions, and then to submit it, you'd add a file, upload a file, and then it would be, and then click submit, and there it is in the, in the folder for me to read. If you have comments that you want me to know, if there's things you want me to know about what you're submitting, you could add them here, and I would, I would see them, okay? So uh, that's it for this navigating the, um, the, the home page video. Um, I will also share some videos about the week one assignments and sort of talking about your week, the weekly tasks and expectations that I have for you this semester. Hope this was useful. Okay, that's all. Thanks. Bye.